Getting bored is very annoying. And plus, when you get bored, negative thoughts get in your head and you start to have stress and anxiety. Experts say if we're not doing anything and we get bored, it's actually unhealthy for us. And when you get bored, that means you're not productive. Until now, we're speaking of people that are not addicted to social media and social media doesn't exist yet. Because when you introduce internet and social media to a person, getting bored is a whole different story. Nowadays, people are so addicted to their cell phone that they can't even put it down for a minute. Because when they put it down, anxiety and stress attacks them. But in reality, that's just them getting bored. But since they haven't felt it in a very long time, they're not familiar with the feeling. And that's where the anxiety comes from. It's kind of like an addict having withdrawal symptoms, where it does not receive the drug it needs. But either way, however addicted you are to your cell phone, when it's time to sleep, you're gonna have to put the phone down. What happens if you could use your cell phone while you're sleeping? Ladies and gentlemen, the Apple Vision Pro. When you look at the Apple Vision Pro from afar, it looks like snowboarding goggles, but it's actually a very advanced computer system on your head. The Apple Vision Pro has features that have never been seen before, and it's because of this feature that it brings the performance of this machine up. It's so good that it's scary. When you look at your computer or your cell phone, you're looking at everything in two dimensional, but this headset turns everything into 3D and it pretty much seems like you go inside the computer. When you have your cell phone in your hand or you're behind the computer, you're in a very real environment, but you're looking at a screen. But when you put these goggles on, you're in a real environment, but everything around you is fake. And everything you saw on your cell phone or your computer, you see in a field. From the outside, people can see you very well, and they can even see your eyes on the front of the goggles. But it's not really your eyes, it's the camera system that's picking up and displaying it on the front screen. When someone looks into the goggle, they think they're looking at you, but they're just looking at a display of your eye at that moment. So in a way, that's fake. These goggles have two important things going for it. It's interesting, but it's also very scary because this machine can pretty much eradicate getting bored. The Apple Vision Pro started this process, but there's still a lot of steps we have to move forward. Like the cons is that it's very big, it has a lot of weight, and don't get me started on the battery because it's not even built in. It's a wire that gets connected to it and you have to carry this iPod looking thing everywhere you go, and it only lasts two hours. Time is gonna fix all of these issues, that's not a problem. There's gonna be a battery that lasts for a very long time. But the Apple Vision Pro has things that make the future seem a lot more scary. Let's look at the display where your eyesight is shown to other people looking at you. This is happening because the goggle is scanning your entire face, especially your eyesight. And the things everyone is seeing on the display is happening inside the goggle. But in a way, this removes eye contact. The eyes are a window to the soul. And when you can't make eye contact with someone, you really can't communicate with them properly. When you talk to someone, you want to make eye contact. This is why speaking to someone who's wearing sunglasses is kind of annoying and you really don't know what's going on behind those glasses. It would be good if it was just the eyesight. When you wear this headset, it's covering your entire head. And not only is it scanning everywhere on your face and eyes, but it's picking up your blood pressure your blood oxygen levels, your heartbeat, your temperature. Apple executives say this is meant to help you out. A person that wears this can easily see what is happening in their body and they can have this information. This is great and all, but these headsets are engineered in a way where they connect all that data and send it to Apple. You might say, who cares? Let it go to the Apple company. But that's not the thing, because when there's data about humans, especially a vast number of them, that's extremely important and they can do a lot of harm and good with these informations. You might be familiar with a store named Costco 
it sells everything in bulk at a lower price. But before you buy anything, you have to become a member that's $50 a year. This $50 a year makes them $4.5 billion per year alone. But that's not what we're talking about. With the help of this membership, they realize that Mike buys this many cheese a month. And that allows them to bring that many cheese more per month so they don't run out. And they only bring things that will sell. And this is one of the many reasons Costco is so successful. Because anything they bring into the store, they will sell it and they don't throw it away like Walmart or any other store. This does not have anything to do with the Apple Vision Pro, but we're telling you how important human data is and how it can bring someone up. And the Apple Vision Pro is going to take over the world, especially between young people. When you have the Vision Pro on your head and you look at an Instagram post, the glasses can realize how you feel about that video. If you're 100% paying attention, if it's giving you a lot of dopamine, if you really like it, or if you're half paying attention. This is a lot of important data to keep you more occupied inside this headset. They slowly realize everything you like and they put it in front of you so you don't put anything down and you will have these goggles on until the second you fall asleep. In a way, they're exploiting humans and they could use this exploitation for positives and negatives. This is not the first time Apple has caused the revolution. The first smartphone was the iPhone made by Apple. They revolutionized tablets with the iPad. They revolutionized wireless headphones with the ear pods. So who's to say that they're not going to cause a revolution with the Apple Vision Pro? Before the launch of these goggles, Apple has spent a lot of money in advertising. They gave the Apple Vision Pro to a lot of influencers and famous people just to make a video on it and make it seem normal to have a goggle that costs $3,500 on your face and do everything with it. AI is advancing every single day and we're getting to a point where we have 3D AI. So we're pretty much reaching a point where you wear these goggles and you could create any landscape in front of you and make it seem like you're actually there. When you have everything at a touch of a button, does anything really even seem worth it anymore? Any type of landscape you can have, you can have it in front of you. Just think of the most beautiful river. You can bring it up with a single swipe. Or if you want to watch a Formula One race and make it seem like you're actually there, you can go there in a second. These are all experiences that are very high in dopamine. And this is enough to keep you occupied and addicted to this headset. Just imagine you want to go to the disco. You have to buy tickets. You have to get into a car, drive an hour to it, find a parking, and then finally you're there. But when you have the Apple Vision Pro, you can go in there with a swipe of a button because it's not boring anymore and you don't have to waste hours of your time to get there. When everybody has these goggles around you and you're hanging around, you can be in any type of environment. But you're not really there, you're not even next to your friends because the entire environment is all fake and you're pretty much in a Zoom meeting. Maybe at that time they say, we wish we were back in the time where we were all on our phones. Nowadays, people say we wish we could go back in time where there was no internet and we could live together. But could you really live back in the 90s where there was no internet, there was no GPS? The answer is probably no. Maybe in 20 years time when these goggles are taking over, you ask yourself, could I really live in the 2020s where these headsets weren't available? In the beginning of the video, we said experts believe getting bored is actually bad because you're not being productive. But nowadays, they're actually saying being bored is good because new thoughts and ideas will come to you and that allows you to be more creative. So in a way, putting your phone down is a lot better than keeping it up. But these headsets aren't going to allow us to get bored. So this brings us to a conclusion. It's better to be bored than to never be bored at all.